Drink Drive campaigners say plans for the UK's first pub at a motorway service station flies in the face of common sense. JD Weatherspoon is to open a £2 million bar and restaurant on the M40 in Buckinghamshire, which is where we can join our reporter, Helen Drew. Helen. Behind me is Beaconsfield Services. It's on a major commuter route into London and it's here that the local authority has just granted permission for a pub. It will be the first of its kind and unsurprisingly it's been met with a lot of opposition. Pulling into a motorway service station to refuel will be given a new meaning when a pub opens at Beaconsfield Services on the M40. You can already buy alcohol in shops in some service stations across the country, including this one here in Beaconsfield, but this will be the country's first service station pub. I think it's absolutely ludicrous. I don't think it makes a difference whether there's a pub here or there's a pub 50 yards down the road. Most people are driving, OK, there might be passengers, but uh, I, I just don't think it's right, really. I think it should be banned altogether. It's encouraging people to drink and drive. 23 people are killed in Britain each month by drink drivers, according to the charity Break, and 108 people are seriously injured. Well, I think selling alcohol at a motorway service station really just flies in the face of common sense. We've made a lot of progress in terms of drink driving over previous years, and I think selling alcohol on, on this service station just gives out the wrong message to drivers. The landlord of the closest pub to the service station is surprised it's been allowed. I was staggered that it went through as easily as it has. We're restricted in you know, what we can do in a small pub in a village like this. And for the council to allow that to go through as they have, I think is, is well, it's ridiculous. South Bucks District Council says it didn't receive any objections and had no reason to refuse the application. Weatherspoons has defended its plans, saying 75% of sales will be food and non-alcoholic drinks. They won't ask if people are driving before serving them, and they expect people to drink responsibly. Despite opposition, they hope this will see them on the road to opening many more motorway pubs. I've been speaking to the Home Office and they tell me that when a service station is privately owned, and the vast majority are, including this one here, it really is at the discretion of the local authority whether they grant permission for something like this. What the Home Office also said to me is that they do issue guidance and that guidance says that they don't think that alcohol should be sold in any motorway service station at all. OK, Helen, thanks very much.